Now, in the Bible, we speak of prayer. Prayer to the world means begging, but not in the Bible. It's thanksgiving. It's praise. It's not petition. We speak in the Bible of repentance. And the world thinks that it means to regret, to be remorseful. That's not what the Bible teaches. Prayer and repentance are almost synonymous terms. To repent is simply a radical change of attitude. That is what repentance means. For if I radically change my attitude towards life, I will then view the world and see the world from that change of attitude. And that change is a change of consciousness. And that change will be externalized in my world. Now repentance is at once man's responsibility and a gift of God. But then what is my responsibility? I want to change my world. Well, then I ask myself, what would I see if it were changed? How would I see the world if my world was exactly as I want it to be? How would I see it? Well, then see it. In my mind's eye, conjure a scene which would imply that it is true. Live as though it were true in my mind's eye. I know I can't make it so, but in the depth of my own being, the Father, he has the power to make it so. So now I go to my Father. How do I go to my Father? I first of all do what I am called upon to do. I enact a scene implying the fulfillment of my dream, and then I turn it over completely in thanksgiving to him. It is myself, my essential being. But it transcends my reasoning mind. I do not know on this level how it can be done. But I do know that if I have faith in him, which is my own self, it will be done in my world. So we are told in scripture, without faith it is impossible to please him. What is faith? The same chapter in Hebrews defines faith for us. Faith is the assurance of things not seen. The evidence of things hoped for. By faith we understand that the very worlds were created by the word of God. So that what is seen was made out of things which do not appear. Well, in my world it hasn't yet appeared. I say it all is contained within my imagination. So I will enact the scene which would imply that it's real. And then within myself I give thanks. Prayer is the attempted communion with God. That's what prayer is. As we are told in the fourth psalm, the fourth verse. Commune with your own heart on your bed and then be silent. Commune with whom? I do not need the mediation of any priest, any rabbi, or any heavenly being. I'm communing with myself. The depth of my own being is God the Father. That's my essential being. And he's one with the surface mind called Neville. You and God the Father are one. This is what I get from Scripture. And this is what I put into practice. This is what I try to teach and tell everyone who will listen to me.